Welcome to the ACS Daily News. Just under 3,000 voters turned out in yesterday's state representative primary election. That amounts to about 10 percent of eligible voters. Candidate Julie Hall won the Republican vote over contender Jeff Bailey with 731 votes to 710 votes. Jim Hawkins won the Democratic primary with 690 votes to Zai Waterman's 402 votes and Paulo Sauguilero's 219 votes. The Sun Chronicle reports that candidate Jeff Bailey has not yet conceded and is considering a recount. Both winners will face off in a general election on April 3rd. The Attleboro Arts Museum hosted their fifth annual all-school show on Saturday. The one-day exhibit features the work of students enrolled in the museum's classes. And to find out more, we spoke with coordinator Abby Rivaldi. We are presenting our fifth annual all-school show. It's a one-day student art exhibition that's held today, Saturday, March 3rd from 10 to 4. We have a opening reception and open house from 2 to 4 p.m. today. Um, all, we have about 75 pieces of artwork in the show. Um, all of these students um, are of all ages and they have taken classes during our 2017 winter, spring and fall class sessions. Um, a lot of these students, for them it is their first exhibition opportunity which is really exciting for us to provide that outlet um, as sort of the last step of the creative process. Um, we have all mediums represented today. We have drawings, paintings, prints, ceramics and more. Um, and we're very, very proud of our students. Really the only criteria was taking an art class or a workshop during that 2017 winter, spring or fall schedule. If you took a class, you were automatically eligible to submit a piece of artwork that you created in that class to have on display during this exhibit. So really that was the only qualifier. Come take a class. Um, and it's completely optional. They didn't have to do this, but I think it's a nice way to start that exhibition opportunity, especially for those that are more on the novice side of it. It's a great starting, uh, jumping off point. It's a self-portrait. It's acrylic paint, and we had to use pointillism. It was something, a new strategy I don't use often. I think I did decent, but we took Q-tips, and we had little spots of paint, and we just blotted it on and there were no brush strokes or anything, just the dots. There's no such thing as being bad at art, really. You can work to maybe get your skills a little better if you feel like that, but as long as you're happy with what you're doing and you enjoy it, there's no way you can be bad at it. My name is Kusmita Savaram, and I've been coming to the Adelbert Art Museum for five years. Um, I've had a lot of fun here, actually. I come here every Saturday for art classes, and I've sort of furthered my art skills, I guess you could say. I mostly like uh, pencil drawings, charcoal, that's what I like to do. But the piece, the f it's the first time I've done anything like that. It's a self-portrait of myself and it's done in dots, it's pointillism. The reason I've done it is the art classes, normally there's sort of an assignment or sort of a thing that they tell us to do and from there we do our, use our own creativity to make it. So for more information on art classes or exhibition opportunities at the Attleboro Arts Museum, you can visit our website at www.attleboroartsmuseum.org. You can also give us a call at 508-222-2644, extension 10. You will reach our receptionist. Carrie, who is very helpful and will give you all kinds of information. Um, you can also visit us in person. We are open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It is always free to visit the gallery um, and see what exhibits are on display. That's it for today's update. For ACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.